All right, so today is week one, workout one, and we are doing a strength-based workout today. So it is gonna be targeting the entire body. So to start off, we wanna get nice and warm. We're gonna be working for 30 seconds on, 10 seconds off for the warm up, and we're doing two rounds, okay? So our first movement that we are doing today, we are going into marches. So right up on the spot, we're gonna get our knees up nice and high. You can use those arms as well. We're gonna start marching, okay? We're gonna go for 30 seconds, starting in three, two, one, let's go. So bringing those knees up nice and high as we march. You can bring them up a little bit higher. Maybe you'll find yourself walking around the room and that is fine as well. Almost there, we're over halfway now. So keep driving up, you might start to feel a little bit of warmth in your legs and that is so fine. Just keep on moving through. Three, two, and one, and rest. So now you've got 10 seconds to recover. Our next movement we're going into is into big shoulder circles, alternating in between each side. Three, two, one, let's go. Up and over. Maybe you go clockwise, and if you feel like it, you can go counterclockwise, go into a bit of forward stroke, back stroke, alternating between the two. You get that movement going through those shoulders. We're over halfway now. Change it up a few more times if you like. Start to feel your range of limitations as you go through. Almost there. All right, so we're gonna go into round two. Now, when you're ready, back into marches. Keep those knees up. This time, maybe you feel like going a little bit faster. Get that heart rate up. A little bit lighter on those toes. Draw those knees up. Keep that core engaged. Halfway already. Good. 10 seconds to recover before we go back into our swimmer's arms. We go in five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. Remember you got backstroke, then you can go forward as well. That's it guys, keep working through, get that range. Maybe you're feeling a little bit looser already. We're just doing the two rounds. All right, so we are about to launch into our workout component. So how this is gonna work, we have four exercises and each exercise you're gonna be working for 40 seconds. Then you'll have 20 seconds to recover before we go into the next exercise. All right, so let's work through all these movements together. All right, so our first movement that we are gonna get started with is a sit to stand squat. So with your chair that you've got handy, you're gonna take a seat nice and comfortable on that chair. Make sure you're able to hinge forward, plant those feet, and then stand on up nice and tall. As we stand, we wanna squeeze those glutes. Hinging at the hips, stay nice and steady, and then back up, okay? So when we're all ready, make sure you've got that chair handy. We're gonna get started in five seconds. All right, you can start from a standing position or a seated, whichever suits you. Here we go. Standing up, stand tall, hips back, back onto the chair. Hinge, stand, squeeze those glutes, and then come back down again. Good. Do really well. And if you want to progress it, you've got an option to just kind of touch your hips back onto that chair as we go down. Instead of really getting comfy, you're just kissing those hips and then back up again. Almost there. Got about five seconds to go before we move into a rest. All right, our second movement that we're going into is our bench push up. Now, knowing that with the bench, you can go with something maybe hip height or a little bit higher if you want that extra support. The higher, the easier, 
the lower, the harder, all right? So when we go into our bench push up, your hands are placed a little bit wider than shoulder hip width apart, okay? And we wanna bring our shoulders back and down and then we slowly bring our chest towards our hands and then back up again, all right? It's okay if you can't go all the way down, just go at your range, okay? So we're gonna get started for 40 seconds in five, four, three, two, one. Let's get going. Good, making sure that your hips aren't dipping down towards the ground. You're staying nice and steady as you go into that push up. Take your time, take it slower if you need to. Adjust yourself as much as possible. Good, we are almost there. All right, enjoying your 20 seconds to recover now. The next movement we're about to go into is a standing hip abduction, all right? So using the back of a chair, maybe a bench as well. All right, you wanna stand up nice and tall, weight distributed through one leg, squeeze the glute, and then one leg is going laterally out to the side. And as we push out, we're squeezing through that glute. We're gonna go 20 seconds each side. Let's get going. Squeeze on out, try and stay nice and tall through that midsection, nice and tall standing up. Squeeze that glute and just go straight on out. The higher isn't necessarily better. You just wanna make sure that you're getting that glute to light up and that stance leg is really pinned down into the ground. All right, swap legs guys. Then over to that other side, standing tall again. Squeeze as you abduct that hip away from the midline of the body. Another 10 seconds on this side, and then you get 20 seconds to recover. Keep squeezing. All right, so our next movement that we're gonna go into is into a seated horizontal row, okay? So you're gonna plant those feet down on the ground and lift up through the torso as you're sitting nice and tall in your chair. Arms are extended out in front, and I want you to first think about keeping your shoulders back and down. Then you're gonna go into a nice row, leading with those elbows, bringing them just past your rib cage, and then back. As we row, let's try and get as much tension as we can between our shoulder blades, and then extending out again. It's all about that imaginary tension through the muscles we're trying to work, through the upper back, and then continuing through. Good, remembering to get that squeeze through the shoulder blades as you row like you're pulling on an imaginary band in front of you, pulling it past your rib cage and squeezing through that upper back and through the shoulders. 40 seconds here, keeping that tightness and opening up through the chest. We are going into round two now, back into our sit to stand. So with that chair, taking a nice seat in three, two, one. Big stand up, push those hips back down, drive through those glutes. So you wanna drive those feet into the ground, remember? And then getting that glute engagement nice and tight. Good, keep working through. Got another 25 seconds here. Good, always remembering you've got that option for the progressions that you'll see in the top right hand corner of your screen. All right, going into our push-ups now. On that bench, remember you can adjust that height. 40 seconds, let's get going. Nice and slowly down and then pressing on up. Control yourself down towards that bench. 
pressing up. As always, making sure that those hips don't sag down towards the ground. Keep those hips high, bring that chest down, work to the range that you feel most comfortable with. Good, we're over halfway now. Keep firing through, push through the chest. Think about pushing that chair away from you. Modify, take rest if you need to. You've got 10 seconds to go. All right, going back into those hip abductions. With that chair, holding on for assistance. Stand up tall, squeeze, and open up through that hip. Try not to get really wonky through that torso. Stand nice and tall as we go through, squeezing that glute. Find that balance. We've just got another eight seconds on this side before we swap on over. Good, big squeeze, and swap sides. Standing tall. Lift that torso up, straight on out to the side. Remembering if you do want to progress and this is feeling pretty easy, you can use bands, pop them around the ankle and squeeze those glutes and you've got a little bit of extra tension. Almost there, three, two, Going into that fourth movement of the second round, seated horizontal rows, keeping those chest up, shoulders back and down, and then start to squeeze. Let's get into it. Squeeze to the shoulder blades. Good. Leading with those arms, leading with those elbows just past that rib cage, and getting that row. If you want to intensify, you've got that option to hold onto a band and create as much tension against that band as possible to get that strong squeeze. Really nice movement here for posture. If you find yourself sitting a lot lately or your posture is not too good, this really opens up through the chest. Round three, final round. Have a sip of water if you need to. Enjoy the recovery. Get your chair ready. Make sure you're in the right position. Sit to stand. Set those feet up. And then coming down into that squat. 40 seconds here, final round. And you've got that option. If you want to intensify, maybe you'll just touch the chair and just go straight back up. Instead of rocking back into it and getting too comfy, just tap and go. And if you're feeling super confident now, maybe you'll try the air squats where you won't necessarily have any point of reference, just going down until your hips are in line with your knees and then back up to stand again. Almost there. organizing yourself for your push-ups. Here we go. Coming down into that press and then back up again. Controlling down and up. Cool, you're doing really, really well. I know these can be challenging. So as you go down, big exhale as you push back up again. Got about 15 seconds to go. Keep working through. Big exhale, control down, don't let those hips fall. You've got it. Maybe squeeze one or two more reps in. Great work. Right, 
standing hip abductions. Let's get into it, standing tall, squeeze and extend. Get that tension through that lateral glute. So going out to the side, we are really targeting through that lateral area. Really getting that mind muscle connection to the glute where we're trying to work. One more on this side and now swap it over. Standing tall, big squeeze. Starting to feel that burn now. Almost there. Five. All right, final movement. Sitting on the chair, horizontal rows, arms out in front, keeping those shoulders back and down. And when you're into it, let's go for 40 seconds. Big squeeze. Keeping that tension, shoulders down. Almost at the end of this strength workout, we're doing so well. Keeping that tension in between the shoulder blades. Remember, it's all about posture, opening up through the muscles that we might otherwise neglect a little bit. Five seconds, all the way through. Well done for completing your first strength workout for this training block. Our next workout that we'll be doing later in the week is a cardio session, so stay tuned and get ready to get your heart rate up inside your own home.